Hi, this is Nora and welcome to another episode of Nora's Pharmacy. Today on Nora's Pharmacy we are going to be making Mentats. Mentats are a great buff for intelligence and more intelligence means more XP. So if you're grinding out some levels, make sure you have some Mentats on you. Dr. Hardy is settling in okay. Um, it's been a bit of an adjustment. I'd kind of got used to Dr. Forager and his strange methods. Just here for a bit. I'll stay out of your hair. Well, you can stay as long as you like, to be honest. I can't even begin to describe how rewarding it is to help those in need, but I feel like the war really robbed me of the chance to leave the office early and play golf. So anyway, what kind of services do you provide? Of course. Just tell me where it hurts. I didn't actually mean me, I meant for our patients. Actually, have you um, had the scorched inoculation yet? It's very important if you're in this area to get it. You mean that ingenious use of America's finest soft drink? Of course. I haven't had the chance to thank your overseer or the vault dweller who provided the sample. But we owe them our lives. And look on your face. You're not telling me. That was you? Well, who else is going to provide first-rate medical care in the wasteland? Wow. You saved a lot of lives, you know. Remind me to buy you an ice-cold Nuka-Cola. Uh, this time, <laughs> without your antibodies in it. You do look a lot better since I got you out of that filthy lab coat. How you can call yourself a healthcare professional looking like that, I really don't know. Anyway, we're going to make Mentats, so let's see what ingredients we need. To make Mentats, we need two brain fungus, one carrot flower and one fire cap. Now if you've uh, watched any of my previous episodes you'll know that the best place to get fire caps is in the forest and I'll show you where. We're going to head to Slocum Joe's here just up from Flatwoods. Hmm. Something gone, going on over there. If you um, haven't finished Wastelanders quest and you're looking for Raider or Settler um, affinity and reputation, Slocum Joe's is a place where you can sometimes find Raiders or Settlers or even both of them fighting. So take your pick, help them out and get Brap. There are usually two fire caps, or actually three today, on this log behind the bus. Don't forget to put the card green thumb on and you'll get two of every one you pick. There are usually some on this log across the stream as well. <coughs> and there are ticks. Be careful when you're using explosive weapons not to shoot things too close to you. There are fire caps dotted all over this area and sometimes they spawn and sometimes they don't.
Check old logs. This one here. And there's quite often one up here on this log. There's usually one or two under these trees. Not today. <laughs> ah, there we go. Ooh. I can hear griblies. Chinese robots. Oh, oh my goodness. I have never seen a Grafton monster here. Oh my goodness. Scarlet actually has her um, latest camp here. <laughs> I have never seen a Grafton monster here. There are usually one or two over on this side of the road. Definitely not Chinese robots. There is sometimes one up here near the back entrance to Gawley Mine. I think one of those deer wants to be dinner. I generally find if you leave them alone, they leave you alone. Unless they're erratic, in which case kill them quickly. <laughs> that 
that's pretty much it for this end of the forest. If you do want more, there are more down below Slocum Joe's. You can sometimes find more around there. Um, so as it's getting a bit dark, I'm going to head back to the pharmacy. The next ingredient I'm going to get is carrot flowers. And the best place, I think, to get carrot flowers is the Palace of the Winding Path. When you come in, obviously make sure that you're careful because there are ghouls here and scorched. And first of all, we're going to head over to the far side. If we can get up there. <laughs> And all the way along here you will find carrot flowers. It's easier to find them on a sunny day but the weather is what it is. There's also aster here and uh, blackberries if you need them for other projects. If you are in the forest and you haven't ventured out yet, you can get some in the planters at the Wayward. And there are a few more up here. probably don't need this many. I think the most restricted item will be the fungus. But you never know, it might be useful to have spares for other recipes. Right, from here we're going to head down into the mire. To get brain fungus. Now if you're a low level player and you're not up to the mire Brain fungus can be found. There are a few in some of the trailers in Flatwoods. They're usually found in caves and damp areas. And there is this cave here, the deep. Now obviously if you're a low level player be careful because there are cave crickets in here and um, Chinese operatives. But as long as you're sneaky and careful you should be fine. Going to head to um, Thunder Mountain substation, which is just above Harper's Ferry. Be careful at the substation because there are anglers and gulpers in there usually. And the anglers, anglers especially can be quite difficult even from a distance. The 
is a pool here that has quite a bit of brain fungus and also some blood leaf if you want it. Can't see any. <laughs> ah, here it is. If you're ever in this area after it's been nuked, this is a good resource for, I think it's Crimson Flux. Just to show you on the map, we are here. You could go to the Burrows North or to Harpers Ferry. They're quite close if you don't have the substation. It's probably enough, but... You can of course just wander through the mire up to um, the big moor to um, collect more, but if you're feeling lazy then just fast travel. Just below the big moor there are a few more brain fungus about. As it started to get dark, I've come back to the pharmacy so that we can make our mentats. I'm just going to check and see what we got. Right, we have 26 fire caps, 44 brain fungus, and 76 carrot flowers. Now, fire caps are always going to be the most difficult to find, they are the rarest, but have a check up that area in the forest and you should get enough. And if you put the cards chemist and super duper on you should get more when you make them. Hi Solomon, had a busy day? Okay. Right. Let's have a look. Right, as you can see, because I have chemist on, you get two every time you make one. Super duper fired. I always make five and break to see if super duper will fire. If it fires during the first five, I go on to ten, so it did. So we'll have a quick break. And it's fired again. Note to self. Look for a renewable resource for making jobs. I know that high. Yeah. And the same again. And again. <laughs> There we 
go. I think it's super duper fired four times. So let's see how many Mentats we got. We got 52 Mentats from that haul. So that was a pretty good haul. <laughs> So next time on Nora's Pharmacy I will show you how to make variants of Mentats, what the different variants are and how they can help you. So that's all from me today. Thank you for watching.